So now that the fall is over, I wanted to dig back into what is going to make me better in 2021 as an archer and as a hunter uh, than I was in 2020. And I figured we could all go on the journey together. You know how they make teachers, like elementary school teachers, have like a college education? I never quite understood that. Like why do you have to have a college education to teach third graders how to like braid and like do addition and subtraction and stuff like that? That said, I have graduated from the eighth grade of archery. So if you are in the second grade, you can probably learn stuff from me. But there are dudes who have their doctorate in archery, and I will defer to them unless they're big fans of light, fast arrows. I'm just kidding, but he's so fired up about that right now, it's hilarious. Episode 1, Stop Sucking at Archery in 2021. I want you to see if your setup is actually a good setup. I wanted to make this stuff that people could check at home with tools and with uh, with stuff that they already have. Not anything special that you've got to go out and buy, but we're going to find out if your setup is actually in tune and working properly for you. So we're going to do the bow, we're going to do arrows, and then we're going to start building out from there and talking about what I am working on in 2021, which is certain parts of my shot, uh, building different arrows, etc., etc. This seems super simple. Does your bow shoot arrows out of it correctly? Like, that seems like a pretty uh, pretty basic, easy way to start. But it wouldn't surprise me if there were a ton of people who right now do not have the right setup and it is not working for them. So here's what we're going to do. Step one, put an arrow in your bow. Hold your bow up next to you. Engage that rest. If you've got a limb-driven drop away, go ahead and take the cord off. I know, I know. We're just going to make sure that everything is good and dialed in. Give it some slack. And what you're going to look for is a very basic thing. Does your arrow cover or sit inside of that burger hole at all? The burger hole, not spelled burger like cheeseburger, is uh, the other hole where you could actually put in a bolt to hold down a rest. It's kind of a central point on the, bow, on the bow. What you're looking for is, if you're way out of that, that's what we're looking for, okay? This is, this is very rough starting points. We are, we are sculpting our shot. We are going to start chiseling away the large parts first before we get into the detail. So, very roughly, does it cover the burger hole? Cool. Step two, your rest left to right is going to have a certain distance that the manufacturer recommends to basically the top part of the spine of the arrow. So where the, where the spine crests, that's kind of the center point. On the Matthews, it's 13 sixteenths. 13 sixteenths is an odd calculation. Like that seems like, like, why not three quarters of an inch? I don't know, it seems a little strange, but you should Google your bow and what center shot is, what the exact center shot is. Uh, just to, just again, out of curiosity, how far out of that center shot is your rest? Don't change anything yet. Not asking you to change anything. Just see how far out of center shot you are. Go on Google and Google the arrows that you have and find out if the spine looks like it's right for your draw length and your bow poundage still. If your arrows are really old, 
it's probably time for some new arrows. As you shoot repeatedly, the spine is going to break down more over time. So that 340 spine that you started out with is gonna to start to climb up and the inconsistencies between the shafts are going to show up even more. You're probably a better shot than you think you are, but the arrows and the gear are just starting to kind of deteriorate and break down. So congratulations on being a better archer than you thought you were. The easiest way to find out if the arrow is leaving the bow correctly, let's do a paper tune. We're just gonna check. I'm not even asking you to change anything. I just want you to see. You're gonna need some tape. You're gonna need a piece of paper. Doesn't matter if there's writing on it or not, whatever you got lying around. You're gonna need a ladder, or you can use a chair, or you can use a box that you cut the center out of. I chose to use a ladder. Couple things you wanna make sure of, which one of the things I did not, you wanna make sure that you are shooting level at the paper. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't really wanna be shooting down too much. Like I was shooting down a little bit more than I should have been. I should have raised everything up. So take the time if it's a little bit off, go ahead and raise that sucker up because you're gonna be shooting through paper more than once. Another thing, make sure that your target is back far enough from the piece of paper that the arrow can exit all the way through before it actually hits the bag or the block or the matrix or whatever you've got. If it doesn't, it's gonna hit and it's gonna get all sorts of funny rips as it's going through and you're never gonna feel like you get a good tear. So, two tips. If you're not getting close to a perfect bullet hole, it doesn't have to be super perfect. Again, we're working through this. We're chipping away at the sculpture of archery. How'd your tear look? Like, if you're an inch, that's not great. If you're a half inch, okay, maybe not, not as horrible. Um, shoot through your arrows. Shoot through all your arrows through paper and see how they're doing. I'm, I'm really curious. Um, are you getting the same type of tear? Because if you're shooting the same way consistently through that paper, six feet away, same arrows, the same type of grip, your tear should be pretty close to exactly the same. That's what you're ultimately shooting for. Let me know how it went. Maybe post a picture, tag me on Instagram if you want to, and let me see the tears that you're coming up with. And then the next time we do this, we're gonna talk about how to correct those tears. And I'm gonna go into the details of what I have done to the target bow that I'm going to use for the first part of the season before my new target bow comes in. My new hunting setup for 3D that I'm going to use. I'll give you a hint. It's 34 inch axle to axle. I'm not 36, I'm not 38, 34. I'm not asking you to change anything on your setup yet. What we're doing is we're gathering information and then we're going to figure out what the next step is as far as being able to get it so that your bow is going to shoot a bullet hole. That's all I got for right now. Episode one, how to make your stuff not suck. Thanks for watching. I'm Brandon McDonald.